Welcome to Dynamics 365 Business Central. Today we're going to learn in this video how to set up global and shortcut dimensions. Just a brief um, introduction of global and shortcut dimensions. So the global dimensions are used as a filter. So you remember this word filters. For example, on reports and batch jobs, you can use only majorly two global dimensions. So choose dimension that you will uh, use often. Shortcut dimensions are available as fields. So remember fields on journal and document lines. So you can create up to eight of these of them. So first of all, you go to um, tell me option and search for general ledger setup. So you go towards the turn the dimension side. So show more. So you can view give setup. Uh, you can also see the global dimension code is department and area. And then we got uh, further shortcut dimensions as well. So shortcut dimension starts from here to there. So we made shortcut for uh, department and um, area as well here. If you would like to change the global dimensions, you can click change global dimensions here. This will give you an option to change the global dimensions. So you can select from all of these um, tables as well and the departments, obviously the, the global dimensions. So if you want to change the global dimension, you click there and you can open a full list. And you can choose whatever dimensions you have. You can pick up from there and make it as a global dimensions. For both of these, you can do that like that. Another two important things are sequential and parallel. So I'm just going to give you brief information about that. Sequential, if this is a type, a kind of def default option. The change is done in one transaction that reverts all the entries to the dimensions uh, they had before the, ch uh, the change. I mean, this option is recommended if the company contains relative, uh, relatively few posted entries where it will take the shortest time to complete. Um, the process locks multiple tables. This is important. The process locks multiple tables and blocks other users until it's done. Note that obviously a larger database, the process may not be able to complete in this mode. In that case, you use parallel, um, obviously parallel option. So the parallel option, the dimension, as it, the name says, is a parallel. So it will go parallel to the system um, request. And the request will be parallel. The dimension change happens in multiple background sessions, and operation is split into multiple transactions. So to use this, you use parallel processing. So I'm not going to go into too much of this at the moment. Uh, we just stick to the global and shortcut for the time being. So if you go to um, journal ledger entries um, to see how it works with global and obviously shortcut, you go to the filters and you put department. Let's say I'll start it from again. So you click the filter and you select department code, and then when you click here you will see different departments are available. So whichever you want to select, you can select and you can see according to that. Let's say, for example, if you see anything is there with the order, no, um, admin. Um, sales. So sales button got loads of entries, that's why it's showing up. So remember I said global dimensions, um, you use global dimensions as filters, so you can use it as a filter as well. So this is how you use as a filter this dimension is, so you can see um, what department uh, we're getting the information from on journal ledger entries. If you got any entries with the other one, you will, you will probably see that as well. Uh, at the moment, we only got sales, um, obviously the details of sales entries here. So that's why when, when I select sales filter, it will show me everything about the sales. If you go back to general ledger setup, so you can see, let's say for example, salesperson. So you can see the salesperson dimensions available in general ledger entries. Uh, you can see the salesperson who's been dealing with it. It says uh, the person's name here. So. Uh, these were our dimensions available, uh, so which are uh, we made as a dimensions for area, customer group, department, equation, or salesperson. 
and so this is what you get uh, get from uh, journal and document lines if you make a sales order let's say for example sales order, I don't want to make the video too long it should be quick as possible so let's say we do the new sales um, if you select um, the line and obviously header side so you can say let's say for example we have got uh, just for example we'll take this and on the line I'm going to select an item comma yeah so on the line we just go to related and check the dimensions what dimensions we've got so we've got salesperson Joe here that's why when you when you post the entry after that because this is the line when you can also check um, the order side as well dimensions so we've got salesperson here as well so when you select everything and post there uh, it goes to the entries and everything everywhere wherever it goes that the shortcut one shows us this person over who was selected as um, as a dimension um, let's see the name Joe so he's going to be dealing with it so you can put different people here as well that is a different area to select obviously to input if you want to put more details or more people here so this is how basically work with the global and shortcut dimensions and thank you for watching my video